Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about the another book that is Pachinko. Pachinko is basically a novel which is based on the Korea and you can call it as Korean novel. And this story is written by the Min Jin Lee and according to her, it take her to write this book 30 years. She did a research on Korean history and she did a, a lot of the interview interviews with the people korean people who are living in the japan and she researched how korean people are treated in the japan and it is awesome the result of her work the result of her research you can see that in that book this book consists of the 469 pages and believe me when you start to read this book every page is you can't skip any page you can't stop yourself from until finishing that book the main important character of this book is sunja and according to me everyone is every character has their own essence every character are building blocks of that whole novel but sunja is like a, she is a thread Sunja is a like a thread uh, and every character is revolving around her but still every character has its own essence every character has its own background story and most of the time if you read a uh, novels uh, other novels uh, and basically most of the characters used as a supporting character but in this book what i found is that here every character has a background story when we start to read uh, every character's background story we start to feel their happiness we start to feel their sadness we start to feel why they are like this and then the attachment towards that characters become more uh, close and so this is how the whole book is written and another thing the main important positive point of this novel is that this book is multi-generational multi i think this book start from the 1913 to up to the 1989 i don't remember exact time but this book starts from the sunja's grandfather and grandmother then her father and mother then sunja then sunja's sons and sunja's grandsons it is wholesome book you can say that because it's not only a novel it contains the history it contains the economical status of the people and it contains the moments of the world war ii that is bomb blast in the hiroshima and nagasaki and it contains the the colonial rule of the japanese how japanese colonized the China, how Japanese colonized the Korean people and Korea and how Korea and uh, China suffered under the uh, rule of the Japanese kingdom and there is a mention of the cruelty and the most sensible thing is that when Koreans are colonized under the japan the koreans are treated like they are useless the koreans are treated like they are nothing and some of the people at that time when they treated like this in their own country they flee to the japan and due to their look both the japan japanese and the korean people look similar and people from the korea avoid to say that they are not Korean. They, if people are in front of them, ask them, are you Korean or the, are you Japanese? Most of the people try to say that they are Japanese because in that time, the people who fled from the Korea living in the Japan, uh, in Japan, they are not getting the rent. If they get a rental home that is very dirty and they, that is very uh, in the place of the dirty area and the rent for that home dirty home also very high because they is, he is a Korean so this is how the colonized Japanese treated the Korean people and most of the Korean people tried to 
don't show their identity that they are koreans because they know if they say that they are korean they are treated like a useless there is no use of their education there is no use of uh, their intelligence there is no use of their hard work so most of the people avoid the identity of the korean because they wanted a respectful life because they wanted to live in the better home this is how the koreans are struggling in living in japan and it is the time of the world war 2 at that time the situation of the economy become worst and people are uh, trying to people are struggling to get a bowl of the rice and uh, there is a situation at that time when sunja get married to the isak and according to the custom sunja's mother want to feed her her daughter and the son in law with the rice and there is a scene she cried to get that rice even though people has a lot of the money people has the lot i think enough money to get a rice but there is a no rice if there is rice also the businessmen and the people who are selling the rice they are selling that to the japanese people but not to the korean people there is a lot of the sensible scenes which make you feel like hmm, how it can be possible but it is possible it is the same situation i think we are colonized by the britishers at that time like like that only korea is korea is colonized by the japan and at that time in 1945 uh, hiroshima and nagasaki bomb blast takes place at that time sunja and her family moved to the farmhouse where they start to live together and again after the uh, the world war ends and they move to again they move again to the japan but at that time she lost her son and the son that is nova and lost means he didn't die but there something happened the clash between the mother and son it is because he is very ideal person sunja san nova he is very ideal person he is wisdom person when our ideology and reality of the life came in front of us and when there is a clash between the ideology and the our reality of the life and life so and life is something different than our ideology and he has a belief since the childhood that something he is um, and i think he sunja's son that is nova he has the character that he believe that he is a pure blooded but in future he realize that he is not the son of his father his father is different and then he start to hate his mother because his mother somehow went to that person to get a proper education for nova that is he she went to the nova's real father and told him to make uh, and get some cash help to make a better education for nova but nova misunderstood that and he start to hate his mother and he quit his all education and went back to the other place where he start to work in a pachinko shop and another brother who is not intelligent who is not a smart but he become a owner of the pachinko and in this way their ways are diverted and the japan and the japanese and the korean identities start to somehow affect the both of the characters and somehow affect all the people and every character in this story start to avoid their korean identity because they feel that if the people recognize they are korean they will think that they are useless and most of the people's mindset is like that 
if he is a korean means he is doing something wrong for the survival even if he is not doing something wrong if he is rich in japan the people start to think that he is doing something wrong or maybe he is in involved in some, some smuggling or maybe he is involved in some something uh, wrong things so that he is earning money so in this way uh, their life start to uh, become something different even they have a lot of the money living in the japan even they were, even though they have their everything whatever in life but people still disrespected them and this is how story ends with the grandson of the sunja and um, at the end of the day i like the whole essence of the story the main important point for which we can say that i can give us five star points is that first i want to say the story is awesome the story is like a masterpiece and it has every essence emotions and the second point is that character development every writer should have i think every writer should read this book to know how to build the characters and every character has a strength and most important is sunja's husband that is isak he is most kind compassionate and person and sunja she is a very independent self respected person i read in any book ever i didn't read any character like this sunja and even she don't have a anything but she didn't hesitate to go on the street and sell the candies and she earn her bread and for her family with her own hand and she is one of the self respected more women i ever read and the third point is the many generation and fourth point is when you read this book you are able to know the korean and culture why now korean people are trying to distribute their culture throughout the world you can take the bts you can take korean drama they all are spreading throughout the world why because they suffer during the world war 2 very much and they want to protect their culture that's why they are spreading that and last point is that the story is extremely compacted and you can't stop yourself from reading and this is the story of the pachinko and if you like this story and i want to say that please read this book because it has the something i i can't explain in words and i think there is no words to explain some feelings i think to explain this book uh, what i feel you read after this book there is no words it feels something um, after reading this book you start to think about the whole the thing and and the stories of that book start to wipes in your head it is like that and whole story is of sim if you want to read any book for this month you can go for it and this is it this is my experience or the my view on this book that is called the pachinko if you get a time to read any time please pick up this book and start to read Okay this is it we will see you in the next video until then take care and bye bye before that please share subscribe and comment and like my video